Charlie, it's nice to speak to you. First time I've spoken to you. I imagine proud of the second half performance, but overall disappointed in the situation that's left you in. Yeah, of course. Um, quite a change of room after that. Deflated. I think we give everything the second half. We showed at times we could be a good team, but it's probably been the story of the season, really. Um, even though we've put everything into it and had ridiculous amount of chances, we've still kind of won the game. But uh, yeah, like I said, probably the story of the season. How was the mood at half time? Because I imagine the first half an hour. Yeah, of course. Hey, I don't really know what happened in the first 20 minutes. I think people were just off the pace, and um, obviously we didn't go, didn't go out there to do that. And uh, we were all fired up before the game. Harsh words from the staff to get us fired up, um, but we didn't go out there and do that. We were we were off the pace, and there were some words at half time, and we had to show some personal pride as well, pride for the club and the supporters, uh, the little pride we can show at the minute and um, I feel like we've done that second half but on the whole obviously it's, um, it's disappointing to, to be in this situation and yeah, not, not win that game and um, yeah, it's not looking good. And getting the goal back came at a good time, it's really sparked the confidence in you guys and you completely dominated that second half. Yeah of course, I think the main thing you can see is if, if you outrun the opposition you're more than likely to get a result and you could see they're allowed to a in second half going down with cramp and there was a lot of energy showing up there second half but it needs to be like that all the time and um, that comes from us as players on the pitch um, personal pride again go out there every Saturday every Tuesday and put in maximum effort because uh, if you don't you're going to get punished for it and we did first 20 30 minutes. With this, what's the something to get behind as well? How much of an impact shooting towards that end did they have on you? Yeah, no, listen, they've been great. Um, I feel sorry for them. Uh, it's not been good enough. Um, on the pitch, off the pitch, everything's not been good enough. I feel like now the club needs to come together as a whole. There's, there's no point in negativity anymore. I feel like it's probably been on for a few years for the club. Um, but now it really is to pick himself up, start from the bottom, and then um, climb to the divisions because, uh, um, listen, it's, it's disappointing. I did feel really bad for the sport to have them um, for the last probably seven or eight games it's not been good enough so yeah I'm going to go as well. How hard has it been with all the outside noise? You've actually been here a few months but you seem to have really taken the club into your heart you give everything on the pitch and for the supporters how hard has it been with all the noise that's going on? Yeah it's been crazy um, as players we see it we come into our phones after the game and if you have messages and you have notifications all that um, yeah, obviously it's, it's not helpful, um, but I think as a player, as soon as you go out onto the pitch on a Saturday or Tuesday, you need to block it out and you need to think of the fans, the backroom staff, people that are involved and been at the club for a long time and go and put on a performance for them because they don't deserve that. But like I said, the club just need to, it needs to be sorted out because I think everyone can see that it's in a bit of a turmoil at the minute. So yeah, quicker, quicker the better and uh, can really, I think everyone needs to pull together now and there. Going in the right direction. It's obviously not quite mathematically done, but it, it looks to be probably Tuesday that you will officially be relegated. How do you focus on the next three games? Do you have a bit of freedom now to play with? Um, personally, it, should, it, it comes down to me as as pride as a professional football player. That's what we are at the end of the day, and um, you need to go and show that. Uh, to put in maximum effort every game. I feel like, personally, I've, I've, I've tried to do that every game and uh, even if I'm not having a good game, I'll fight and scrap for everything. I feel like the lads in the chamber room, everyone needs to have a look at themselves um, and ask if they're doing enough for the team and the club. Um, and yeah, for the next three games, we'll, we'll give it everything. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get some, get some positive results on board. Just lastly, physically, how are you? Because I know you've had quite a few knocks, and even when you were trying to be rested for a game, you had to come on after the 30 or so minutes. How much has it been a struggle physically? Yeah, listen, when, when it gets like this, there's, you can take an easy way out. You can hide behind injuries. You can say, yeah, I'm not quite fit for this one, but that's not me. I'll, I'll play no matter what. Um, yeah, I'll play if I'm fit. If I'm 50%, I'll, I'll give everything. Um, 
yeah, I hope, I hope everyone else would do that as well. So, yeah, that's that's just me as a person. And uh, there's a few in there as well that I looked at and I think, yeah, oh, I'd want you by my side. And, uh, if, we had, if we had 11 of them, I think we'd be all right.